Saturday's visit by the United States Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has without a doubt pushed the government to move with speed in addressing the stalemate that was dodging the IBC as far as voter registration and the next general election is concerned. To address the matter once and for all, President Kibaki chaired a meeting in his Arambe House office, where together with the Prime Minister and IBC commissioners, they agreed to adopt biometric voter registration as opposed to manual registration as had been recommended by the IBC following the acrimonious BVR tendering process. While the Commission had intended to roll out biometric voter registration in the whole country, it has now been constrained uh, to terminate the tender process for this biometric uh, uh, voter registration. When cancelling the deal, IBC cited time and money constraints as the major reasons why it was dropping the BVR process and instead seeking to revive the manual voter registration system. Interested parties had criticized the Commission's move, saying the manual system would dent their credibility and create room for election rigging. <laughs> According to statements sent to newsrooms by the Presidential Press Service, the commission led by its chairman, Mr. Ahmed Isak Hassan, briefed today's meeting on the programmed activities geared towards transparent, peaceful, free and fair elections. The statement went on to say that Issa Kassan outlined the measures IBC has taken to ensure that the coming elections will meet the expectations of all Kenyans. The meeting also discussed the issuance of national identity cards to all eligible Kenyans. President Kibaki directed the Ministry of Immigration and Registration of Person to expedite the issuance of IDs so that majority of Kenyans will be able to register as voters and participate in the forthcoming general elections. Violet Makendo, GBS News.